it really messes up their world. Do you know what I mean? This is not good. They all know I'm here somehow. Like, I don't have any lights on. I didn't fire any shots. Look at them. This is going to be a problem. <laughs> like, hey, bro. Bro. See what we can do. One rusty Makarov, a couple of rusty magazines, and probably a dozen cops. back. I am a friendly pest. Today I am playing Into the Radius. Playing on a Medic Quest 3, streaming this from my PC over virtual desktop. Today is going to be a good day. Because I've started a new save, but with different goals. Um, I'm just going to muck around on this game until Into the Radius 2 comes out. So I thought I would do kind of weird challenges for myself in the meantime. So this is a brand new save. I just got the first mission, but I'm not really going to do the missions. I'm going to try to go out into the radius and survive. I've got two knives, a health syringe, one candy bar, and I'm going to go out into the radius and try to find what I need to live through the days, uh, camp in the radius, pass tide wave in the radius, and do different zoned zone safe sites that I can find to try to loot and find and live. It's going to be fun. We're going to get started right away, but I thought this could be this could be a fun series that allows me to do what I'd like to do, which is just talk a whole bunch about a lot of things that aren't necessarily game related, and still enjoy this game, create content, wait for Radius 2. It's going to be good. Let's get started. Let's get started. As always, I'm running extremely late. I just got done with a foot race, you know? Like, there needs to be a better way to, like explain to people that you went and ran a race you know what i mean like foot race kind of sounds funny but i did went and ran a race about a 5k uh second place overall first place in my age group so very happy with that and they've got seasons with points so i'm hoping to hold on through the season maybe take first in my age group i don't expect to win overall because there's some real athletes and i'm not but Like, either way, it's fun motivation to keep me running. So stay in shape for that. There's some other people in my age group that are pretty close to my speed. So I can't slack off or they're going to have me. Uh, and then, like, the fastest people in the group are quite a bit faster than me. So that gives me a goal to look to. Maybe, maybe I can get faster if I really get serious about it. I forgot. I did Attention. bring a flashlight also. This is UNPSC emergency guidance recording L1-61. If you are listening to this, you are most likely suffering okay. from one or more of the following conditions. A sense of displacement, disorientation, memory loss, ataxia, and visual auditory hallucinations. Please remain calm. You are experiencing the adverse effects of prolonged exposure to the Pechorisk radius. This recording was placed here by the UNPSC to guide affected personnel to safety. Inside this emergency cache, you will find a basic survival kit that will get you to the nearest research outpost. Enter the fog to find it. I just realized I had a Makarov with me. I am not going to use that. I'm only going to use what I found. So, it's not much, but it's better than nothing. We got two candy bars like this first day should go pretty well but my goal is to camp in a different zone every day and that's going to add to the challenge because otherwise it would be a bit easy it should be relatively vanilla outside of I think I still have like the gas mask mod but I'll be pretty fortunate if I find a gas mask oh look at this this is going super well already I did not expect, like, 
I am I am going to do very well this first day. I'm sniffing again. Thought I was over that. We gotta kinda take all the ammo we can find. But I don't I don't have the scavenger mob. This seems like too many mobs. I feel like the Warzone mod must still be on even though I uninstalled it. I'm gonna have to like completely reinstall the game, etc. But I'm gonna try to get through the first day anyway, so we're camping in the Warzone mod on day one. One knife down. I know they said Radius 2 this summer, but did they, like, announce an actual day? I'm looking forward to that. By the way, uh, I do have a Discord. Link in the description. We're bringing back our weekly game nights. So, every week around Wednesday, we announce a game that we're going to play uh, Saturday, 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, anybody's welcome to show up and join us and play. Usually walk about mini golf. Gonna try to mix that up a little bit. Pick some different games, some paid games that maybe not everyone will have. Uh, but of course, anyone is welcome to host their own group on something else they want to play also. So if you're new to VR, looking for people to play with, and uh, maybe maybe other people in normal gaming friend groups are not sharing your interest in VR, join the Discord good people there we got some like regulars that show up all the time everybody gets along pretty well everybody's getting to know each other it's fun it's a good group recently a couple new people popped in which is nice uh, hopefully they'll be able to attend the game nights at some point see what they think see what we could do different see what we could do better and just to uh, enjoy the hobby together you know what i mean Build some relationships, take an interest in each other's lives, cheer each other on, that sort of thing, you know? It's weird that, like, I uninstalled the Warzone mod, but the game is still clearly modded. Um, I'm gonna have to uninstall it and reinstall it to fix this. But, I can still, I'll just make an effort at it, you know what I mean? don't last very long. That's okay. Don't need two lighters. Spare light. Network. That, uh, that running group, that was a good time. I haven't done anything like that in a long time. Nice food. So we got a meal for the night. We need like certain rules. Like I need people to help me come up with certain rules. Like every day I should be required to explore at least one building in my area or something. And I should be required to find a meal. Like, I need certain rules to make the camping challenge interesting. I wonder if... I was thinking maybe there'd be some practical use to that thing, but there's really not. Nice. So there's the actual first mission objective. We're not interested in that. This might be handy. More food. Super important. How many of these did we get? Four? Nice. Maybe some ammo if I can find something for it. Help me, please. That wasn't really me, just an image. 
I'm trapped somewhere terrible. I don't know where, just that it's dark here and I can't move. I'm, I'm so sick of this place, whatever it is. My name's Katya, by the way. I'm so glad I found you. Finally, I'm not alone. Okay. So, the like obvious campsite is out here. Which will be interesting because like the motor pool and the little tower have some cops. And since this is Warzone mob mod, like still in play, that could be interesting. We'll go see what we can see. I guess we'll go up through the hills, but there's some loot out here. We'll go this way. Spire, there he is. against my barrier there it threw me off I wanted to I wanted to talk about a topic uh, I don't know exactly how to bring it up hmm can't believe you didn't see me try to wipe my nose here Something that took me a while to figure out in life is like I was really afraid to lose. You know what I mean? Like everything I did for some reason I thought there was an expectation that I should win. Which makes no sense at all. Nice. I hear him coming. There he is. Just about shot, not quite. Anyway, I had this expectation that I should win, no matter what I did. And it was completely unfounded. You know what I mean? Like, I wasn't particularly athletic. Um, outside of karate, which I took for nine years, I wasn't engaged in any kind of sport. But like, my friend group was almost, what are those, sunflower seeds? Let's get this guy real quick. friend group and I were almost like more enemies than friends. You know what I mean? Like frenemies. But it was it was kind of for the same reason. It's like a lot of us were never in any kind of sport. Um, a lot of us grew up out in the country away from other people. So we were like kind of underdeveloped socially. You know what I mean? It's like your parents tell you that like you can be anything you want to be and you can do anything you want to do but they don't tell you how to do that and they, they didn't have time to really help me figure out what my strengths might be like looking back on it like I know exactly where I should have put my tent out now I know exactly where I should have put my tent and I've kind of like pivoted towards that kind of career later in life. But if I had figured that out earlier, I would have gotten a lot further, you know. But all you can do is the best you can do, or the best that you think you're doing at that time. Back to the point. My friends and I didn't know how to lose, right? That's what it comes down to. Like all thought we should win all the time. 
And I'm telling you, it wasn't much fun. And it also, like, really decreases your desire to play, so to speak. I wonder if any of these fit anywhere. They do. Yeah, that's better. Get nice and organized. Don't be afraid to lose. Right? That's what this is coming down to. It's like, my friend and I mentioned, like, we started boxing. We got headgear. We got gloves. Don't be afraid to lose. Like, it's not the end of the world. Like, you're going to find out in life that you're, you're going to fail at some of the things you try to do. You're not always going to win. You're going to turn your attention to stuff that you later change your mind about, decide that you shouldn't have. You're going to pivot. Don't be afraid to lose. And if you're not afraid to lose, then you'll be less afraid to try, right? And the more times you try, the more times you're going to win. You see what I mean? And it's not just about sport, right? This is about every... What is that? More food. We are killing it. This challenge is so much easier than I expected. Let's pick up bullets too. Hmm, magazine. Uh, there it is. We are doing great. That's worthless. It's not worthless. It's worthless for a challenge. Uh, yeah. Not afraid to lose. It actually helps whenever you try. Not not only are you going to try more, you know, and then just like the rule of odds is you're going to have more success in life because you're going to try harder uh, or more often, even if it's not necessarily harder. Also, if you don't really have that anxiety for losing in place, you perform better. Give me my knife, bro. I have killed so many of those. It's crazy. I'm going to switch to bullets here in a minute. I'm telling you. For me especially. Like, it might be different from some people. Some people might really like that anxiety. I do not. I perform better when I'm competing against myself, when I'm relaxed. Um, and if that's where you can turn your attention, you know what I mean? Don't necessarily try to be better than everybody else. Try to do better than you, you did yesterday. Right? Turn your attention that way. It's healthier. It's good. It's good. Like, I don't always win boxing with my friend. You know what I mean? But it's not the end of the world if you get your ass kicked every now and then. And, like, people kind of lost sight of that. And when they do lose at something, it's like... It really messes up their world. You know what I mean? This is not good. They all know I'm here somehow. Like, I don't have any lights on. I didn't fire any shots. Look at them. This is gonna be a problem. It's like, hey, bro. Bro? Alright, let's see what we can do. One rusty Makarov. A couple rusty magazines. And probably a dozen cops. Oh, I'll see. Man, I feel good about those shots. They're just not hitting. Not good. Not good. We're going down swinging. We're not giving up. We're going down swinging. Syringe. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, I thought I got all the shooters because they stopped shooting. It's okay. Make the gun let me down. It's all right. Okay. First day, camping was kind of a bust. But, in my defense, the Warzone mod is still on somehow. 
But this is a completely new save, and I uninstalled the mod, so I'm going to have to start all over. I'm going to have to uninstall the game, reinstall the game. That'll fix it, though. It's going to be okay. It was a fun try. Um, and I think I'm going to need... Like, I might need some other rules, because I think outside of the mod, I'm going to be pretty successful at this. Like, I had a good day out there finding stuff and things as needed. So even though the day wasn't successful, it gives me a ton of confidence for my next effort. Uh, if you guys like this idea for a video, let me know. If you have suggestions for conditions, let me know. Right, I'll look at all of those and decide what to do for next week. Uh, but otherwise, I think it's fun. I think it's different. Go out there and try to find stuff and live and not worry about coming back in for the tide wave, etc. Not worry about the missions. Just go out and enjoy the zones. Look around and find things. Explore. I think it's going to be fun. Anyway, I'm going to put this video up on Friday. So whenever you find this video, hopefully it finds you well. Hopefully you had a good week. Hopefully you got some fun weekend plans. Hopefully you're spending your free time with the people you want to spend your free time with. Thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting this tiny channel. Have a nice day.